Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of scientific notation. This is standard 8.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 24 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So the volume of salt water on Earth's surface is approximately 350, a whole bunch of zeros. What is this number written in scientific notation? Well, actually, this is 350 quintillion. But at a certain point, after we get past trillion, there's just too many zeros for us to really work with it. Right, so this is, let's just label each of these periods. So this is our ones period or our ones family. Right, and then we've got our thousands. Right, so we get up to the hundred thousands. Then we get to the millions. That's what we get to in third or fourth grade. Then we get up to the billions, and usually at that point it becomes just a little bit silly because we have to start counting zeros, right? But then we get to the trillions, and you'll notice a pattern here, right? So mil, that's one, bill, buy, that's two, try, that's three. If you're wondering what comes next, it's the quadrillions. And quad, right, is for four. And then finally we get to this group right here, that's the quintillions. So that's why I was able to say it's 350 quintillion. And if you're not familiar with it, quint is a prefix for five. So 350 quintillion, but let's count how many zeros we've got, right? We've got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18 zeros outside of this 350. So that's a whole lot of zeros. That's why we get into this scientific notation, all right? So how does scientific notation work? Well. I can already eliminate two of our answers right away, and I'll tell you why. We're going to get rid of C and D simply because they're not written in the correct scientific notation way. So how is scientific notation written? Scientific notation is written with a digit in the ones place, a decimal, and then a digit in the tenths place. So you always have that at least a digit in the ones place and at least a digit in the tenths place. Sometimes they'll extend it to the hundredths and thousandths. That's also fine. But you at least need this right here. So that's my problem with C and D is they just have 35. So you at least need that decimal because we're going to end up moving the decimal one way or the other. And so we've got 3.5 times 10 to the 16th or 3.5 times 10 to the 20th. Well, let's just see what each of those look like. So 3.5 and we'll do times 10 to the 16th, right? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to move it over the decimal 16 times. That's what that means, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, then we just need to put zeros in all of these blanks right here. And I'll just put zeros here, and then we have to count. Did we get the correct number? Uh, let's put them in groups of three. So I've got my three, my six, nine, 12, 15. So 35 and then 15. Uh, I had more than that, so I don't think that one's going to work. I had one, two, three, four, five. I have 18 sets outside of the 350. So let's try this 3.5, right? And we'll count the 20. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's a lot of zeros. There's one set of three, two sets of three, three sets of three, four sets of three, five sets of three. There we go. Six sets of three, and I've got my three hundred and fifty outside of that. So you just count how many times you move it over, and our answer is pretty evident. It is B.